for some horseshoe fungus, which was found on a, was it prehistoric? It wasn't prehistoric man, was it? It was Ice Age, wasn't it? The Ice Age, yeah. Yeah, Ice Age man. <clears throat> 5,000 years ago. for. We'll have a piece of that and give it a go. It's supposed to hold a spark so they can carry it with them to take fire to the next camp or wherever they were going. Not so much fire lighting, well I suppose it is really, or carrying the flame with you. I don't know if you know of a, a thing called hoof fungus. If you've heard of this, it resembles the hoof and it grows mainly on birch, beech and sycamore. It's unusual fungi. And it, it looks also like inside. I've never tried this. This is a first for me as well. Um, looks a bit like... Uh, what's that? Cork, isn't it? Isn't it? Weird stuff. Looks like the same composite as... Yeah. It's called Fomes Formenturius. Oh, I can't pronounce that. Pale brown freshy. Yeah. So we're going to give this a bit of a, a spark. And this um, was found on someone who was in, in the Alps, in the glacier. The Iceman, 5,000 year old. And he was carrying one of these. Um, and it's to take fire with you when you... For long distances, it's supposed to burn very, very slowly. So I'm going to get my ferrocium rod out, and I'm going to strike it, and see if we can get this to... Um... It doesn't carry a flame, it just carries the heat. So let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Okay, bear with me. <clears throat> this is my massive ferrocium rod. And a striker. So, I guess if I get this in view, I don't want to... Tell you what, I'll move the camera around and make it be easier for myself. Okay, hopefully you can see that properly. where you can't see it properly can you just you probably just can't see that give me a second no we're going to have to focus can you see it smouldering Okay, let me give that a few blows and then I'll come back to you and we'll see how long this lasts. Well, not how long it lasts, but see what... Uh, it looks like it's working. Okay, so it's still smouldering here a bit. And then when I look, if you can you see that, a bit closer than that. Look at the difference in texture. This is very soft, this one, and that one was a lot of hard. So I'm going to try and give that a bit of a spark see which one because to me that I don't think that would last very long but it is still can you see that look at that right yep oh, zoomed in that's it. So that's still smouldering. I 
Let's try the other bit. It's a bit tricky this bit. If you can see that, sorry. Seems a lot harder. Okay, well I got both smoking. If you can see that. Just give it a And that one down there as well. So if anybody's got any ideas or you've got a link to a video that I'd like to see, uh, you can put me in the right direction or what am I doing wrong? Is it the right fungus? Is it the wrong fungus? Uh, let me know. It is still a light and that one's still going. But, and that one is there. So I'm going to leave it for a while. And you can still see it smoking slightly, but which, this is very, very soft, very, very soft wood. And that's quite a hard wood, but the difference in grain, is that's weird, isn't it? Look at that. And then you've got the cork. So which one is it? Am I got the, have I got the wrong fungus or... Oh, what? Because I did dry this, it's been drying out for some time. Because I wanted to do this video to see if it does work. So that one's still smouldering, but I think this one's gone out. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Well, I thought it was anyway. Um, if anybody's got any ideas or knows the proper fungus, or they've got a picture of it, or they've got a, like a, a link, if they can drop me, well, if you can do me the link, or just tell me in the the description down below i would really appreciate it thanks very much for watching hope you enjoyed and um, if you'd like to like share or just subscribe or just like or a thumbs up that would be great really appreciate it thanks very much indeed take care catch you in the next video